All right, so I've been working on doing like a belly pan for this bike. Again, just trying to fill that gap underneath the motor there. Also working on like a skid plate design, but this is something I want to try and do. Probably do first out of carbon uh, fiberglass and then I want to do carbon fiber. So making this kind of plug out of just like a bunch of foam, get the general shape that I want. And then I'm going to wrap this in probably some saran wrap. And we're going to do some fiberglass today and make like a first prototype. So for the record, I make no claim to know what I'm doing. This is my first time ever making anything with fiberglass myself. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect, but I wanted to kind of just make my first prototype, see how it looks, see what I think of the shape. I'll probably still tweak it a little bit. Um, and I'm doing using fiberglass first because it's cheap um, and then hopefully do carbon fiber later. So my method so far was just create like a plug out of foam, wrap it in saran wrap so I have the shape and then just do some fiberglass here. I'll cut all of this excess off, put it on the bike, see how I like it. Um, yeah, and then we'll pretty much just go from there. All right, so this is the general shape of like my first version of this whole belly pan thing. Um, I really, yeah, the main thing is just to fill this gap here, kind of like similar what I'm trying to do with the skid plate, um, but doing like a carbon fiber version. I trimmed a little bit of this material back here um, just to slim it down a little bit. I think that's one main thing I want to do is kind of slim it down, like take a little bit of material, especially off of this upper part up here. Um, I don't want that to look too bulky. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a second version. Now that I've kind of like done this process once and I know that it works, I already started making like a foam plug for my second version, so I'll cut that down. I'm gonna refine the shape a little bit, get something that I'm super happy with. And then what I'll be doing next is doing a fiberglass mold. So it'll actually be like a piece that I will then lay my next one inside of. Um, so this will be, this foam piece is my plug. Um, then I'll make a mold and then I'll be able to make another one out of either fiber, fiberglass or carbon fiber that will be more of a finished product um, and much more refined. If you've been following along for the skid plate as well, the skid plate is still in process. I actually just finished the design. I just, it's like, it's so much to learn how to do learning Fusion 360. Um, there's a lot to it, but I'm getting the hang of it and the skid plate design is finished to where I'm happy with it. So I'm actually gonna start prototyping that and I'll work on basically like a 3D printed and then hopefully a plasma cup version of that. Get that on the bike and then I wanna kind of compare the two and have the two different options of um, skid plate or like a belly pan out of carbon fiber. I like both, so we'll see how, how it goes. Um, this is kind of my process of the whole learning composites, learning fiberglass. I wanted to learn it with one of the guys here in the shop, so we're testing it all out. Um, and it's always fun learning something new. I think a lot of my process is pretty much just like throw myself into it, see what I can do, and then refine from there. So 
Um, the next one, I'm gonna slim the design down a whole lot. I don't want it to be too bulky. Um, I could sand this one down and it would probably look a lot better, um, but I'm just gonna go to the next one um, and then clean that, up, um, clean that up a whole bunch. Start doing some carbon fiber or maybe nicer fiberglass and um, hopefully new ones will come soon. So yeah, hope everyone's enjoying. Stay tuned for more. Mm -hmm.